This case is called bone hyperparathyroidism. I think you can recognize the fact that this is bone. Here are your spicules or trabeculae. Here is fat between the uh, spicules. Here along the surface appears to be some hyaline cartilage. And the cells uh, in this area are normal marrow cells in which about half of it is fat and half of it are hematopoietic cells. Well, in hyperparathyroidism, you have an overabundance of parathyroid hormone. Normally, the parathyroid glands are only about 30 to 50 milligrams each. But if there is some reason causing them to be uh, grossly enlarged and therefore microscopically enlarged and overactive, uh, that would be a reason for pumping out increased parathyroid hormone. And as you know, that's the hormone that stimulates osteoclasts to chew up bone and put, and put calcium back into the blood uh, under the direct uh, stimulation of serum calcium levels as opposed to uh, thyrocalcitonin or calcitonin, which does the opposite. It stimulates the osteoblasts to take calcium from the blood and put it back into the spicules. Now the reason why I have this picture a little bit off center is because it took me a while to find something and I want to share it with you. Here is mature bone. Here is nothing but pure fatty marrow. Please note that in this bone, we have a couple of osteoclasts chewing up the bone, which are nothing more than multinucleated giant cells, and transferring calcium from the uh, hydroxyapatite into the bloodstream. These cells along here are osteoblasts, and they do the opposite. They take calcium from the blood and make bone. So the uh, balance between osteoclasts putting calcium into the blood from the bone and osteoblasts putting calcium into the bone from the blood, that delicate balance is what normally goes on. Now we'll have enough uh, time to show you other parts of a normal bone, or in this case it's an abnormal bone because it's uh, being chewed up by increased osteoclastic activity. See, all this is nothing but pure mature fat between the spicules. But in this case, approximately half of the tissue is fat and the other, other half is hematopoietic marrow. So in this portion of bone we not only had p uh, pure yellow fat or yellow marrow, but we also have red marrow or hematopoietic marrow because it is grossly red and also the fact that it's making red blood cells as well. Let's go to the other end of this bone and take a look at the uh, articular cartilage just to show you that my original impression that this looks like mature cartilage is correct. And there's uh, some activity there uh, osseous activity and some fibrous tissue between these spicules. These are probably newer spicules because they still have a lot of osteoblast turning into osteocytes, whereas up here the spicules are a little more organized. This is the uh, bone of hyperparathyroidism because we found more osteoclasts than there should be. Here's probably a couple over here too. Let's take a look. Sure enough, these osteoclasts are even nicer than the other ones we saw. They're beautiful. Thank you very much.